A simple but interesting question, what is wine? Wine is a very interesting byproduct of grapes, and I'm going to go a little bit into detail of what exactly defines wine. It's pretty simple. It's all about farming, uh, it's all about chemistry, and basically wine is fermented grape juice. So to simplify wine for learners, basically a, a farmer, a wine grower, he picks his grapes at a certain sugar and acid content, and then the grapes go into the winery, they press the grapes and they have grape juice. What happens then is the winemaker adds yeast and the yeast eats up all the sugar and makes alcohol and carbon dioxide. So then after the yeast has eaten up all the sugar and produced the carbon dioxide and the alcohol, you have a finished product that is called wine. In still wines, the carbon dioxide goes off. In wines like Champagne and Prosecco, the carbon dioxide stays within the wine and it keeps it fizzy. But basically you have your, your finished product. So you would have a white wine. Now if you want to, with Sauvignon Blanc and Riesling and those styles of simple wines, you can just put that straight into the bottle. And a lot of wineries do. A very simple process, grapes fermented wine bottle. In certain parts of the world, <clears throat> for example Burgundy, what the winemakers would do with the Chardonnay is they would take that finished wine and they would do another process called a malolactic ferment, a second ferment. And that is with using a bacteria um, called a malolactic bacteria and that takes all of the fresh crisp acids out and turns those malic acids into lactic acids, therefore malolactic, and you have a wine which has more lactic acid and is more creamy and lactose in character. So that's two styles of white wines that you can have. Then what you can do is the big difference between white wines and red wines is that in red wines the winemaker puts in the skins. So with Malbec and with Shiraz and with Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc and nearly all the red grape varietals, the juice is white. And when you press Shiraz, you get white juice. It's only when you add the skins that you get three things. You get color. So you get color which can be different with Pinot Noir to Malbec to Merlot to Cabernet Sauvignon. The, the color pigment changes in the grape varietals. The second thing that you get is depth of character. The skins add an extra flavor. Uh, the longer that you leave the skins in the ferment, the bigger the depth of character that comes from the skins. And the third thing that you have is tannins and tannins are coming from the skins. Now I've done a separate video about tannins which you can find which goes into depth about tannins and the balance and why they're an integral part of wine but basically that's how wine is produced. Then if you want to with the red wine that's been fermented with the skins that goes red you can put that into oak barrel and that then adds secondary and tertiary characters of smoke and nuts and cinnamon and all sorts of characters. So wine is actually a very simple thing to learn about. What you've got to remember is that it's just grapes that are fermented into wine and then the winemaker does some things for the wine to change those characters to make the wine more smoky or fresher or buttery etc. And uh, basically in these, in these videos I just want to try to get across the fact that wine can be, can be simplified, we can all enjoy it, and we can all understand it. So I hope that you um, have learned even a little thing there just to make your wine um, uh, tasting more interesting. Thank you.